Hi, I'm Charlie Howland. I'm the plant manager here at Warwick Mills, and I'd like to show you the new biomass plant that we constructed with Dahl Energy. So behind me is the Dahl Energy degasifier section and the, the main reactor. So above us is where the gas is combusted, and below us is where the gas is produced. So, an update on the, the Dahl Energy plant at, at Warwick Mills. Uh, we've just completed over the last three days our stack test, uh, which included you know particulates and NOx and, and all the normal things, but because we're using the plant as a thermal oxidizer and uh, we're destroying, destroying the VOCs from our process, we uh, are really excited to be able to report some absolutely fantastic results. So we have uh, numbers in all in the single digits for, for uh, PPM out, um, mostly uh, around one PPM out, uh, even with inputs as high as 10,000 PPM. Uh, and sometimes even the trickier flows, we ran another series of tests at uh, around 3,000 PPM input and, and still achieved around one to two percent, one to two PPM output. So we have absolutely exceptional destruction efficiency and uh, at very low temperatures. So we, uh, we, we can say now we were able to balance the fuel we need to operate the, the process is almost perfectly matched now with the, the temperatures we need to destroy VOCs. And uh, this is a, a great outcome. So I think uh, this goes a long way to, to demonstrate how effective the, the, the Dahl uh, reactor design is, not just for biomass uh, energy production, but also for, for VOC destruction. So it's a fantastic thermal oxidizer. Hi, uh, my name is Chris Tutting, uh, president of CEM Services. Uh, the last two days, we've been testing the Dahl Energy uh, Biomass Combustion System. Um, and this application is being used for VOC controls. It's combusting whole wood chips. Um, in my 26 years of doing stack testing, I've never seen a unit firing whole wood chips that had such low CO, NOx, and particulate emissions without any form of control in the form of a bag house, any type of uh, ammonia injection for the NOx, a CO catalyst or any type of bag house. Uh, the systems performed very well the last two days at both a VOC high loading condition and a VOC low loading condition.